please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. Now in this question, we want to determine the probability that the two selected numbers add to be 11. Since this experiment has countable outcomes, we can use the probability formula. So the probability that the pair of selected numbers add to be 11 is equal to the total number of pairs that add to be 11 divided by the total number of possible pairs. Let's begin with the denominator. How many different pairs of numbers are possible if we select one number from each of these two sets? Well, let's examine some possible outcomes. One pair results from selecting a 4 from the first set and an 8 from the second set. Another outcome is selecting the pair 1 and 3. So how many different pairs can be selected from these two sets? To answer this question, we'll take the task of building pairs of numbers and break it into stages. One stage will be to select a number from the first set, and another stage can be selecting a number from the second set. Since the first set consists of five numbers, we can accomplish this stage in five ways. Next, there are eight numbers in the second set, so we can accomplish this stage in eight ways. When we apply the fundamental counting principle, we can see that there are 40 ways to accomplish both stages. In other words, there are 40 different pairs of numbers possible. Now we'll tackle the numerator. How many of the 40 outcomes are such that the two numbers add to be 11? We can determine this by selecting a number in the first set and then checking whether there is a number in the second set such that the two numbers add to be 11. So we'll begin with 1 in the first set. So in the second set, we need a 10 so that the two numbers add to be 11. Since there are no 10s in the second set, we'll move on to the next number in the first set. Since this 2 and the 9 in the second set add to be 11, this is our first pair that adds to be 11. Continuing with this pattern, we find another pair here. Here's a third pair, and here's a fourth pair. So there are four outcomes where the pair of numbers add to be 11. So the probability is 4 40ths, which is equal to 1 10th, which means our answer is D.